A vision-impaired Melbourne woman's been able to see again thanks to a world first. While she can only see shadows and colours, it's changing her life and putting Melbourne scientists at the forefront of bionic eye research. Amy Parks has the story. The eye disease retinitis pigmentosa began destroying Di Ashworth's sight nearly 30 years ago. But this was the moment scientists began to turn back the clock. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I just went, wow, you know, because I just didn't expect it at all. It just, yeah, but it was amazing. We were all very nervous. Um, perhaps the calmest of all was Di. Electrical impulses are sent to a prototype implant behind Di's retina, which are then recognised by her brain as vision. Di will be able to see a number of spots in different locations and will be able to see things like shapes and the edges of doorways and objects like that. Seemingly small, but it could be enough to light the way for researchers developing a bionic eye and to give hope to thousands of vision-impaired patients. It is possible that later on we may be able to use the devices for patients with age-related macular degeneration. As exciting as this development is, it's just the first step. The holy grail for researchers will be a bionic eye with ten times the power of this first prototype, which will allow patients to recognise faces and to read large print. But even in these early stages, it's the realisation of a dream. I've always believed, always believed that there would be something. Amy Parks, 7 News.